Hi, my name is Mike, and today I've got uh, another prophecy to share. Um, it's called, The only thing that will be great again about America will be her fall because she has forsaken me, given to uh, Brother Jeff Barley, um, Holy Spirit Wind Channel. Um, and also you can view it on the Prophecy 444 News site. Uh, here's what you need to check out. This is on the Prophecy 444 News site. Also, you can view it at the Holy Spirit Wind site as well. Uh, it was posted today on the 3rd of June, 2019. And this is the message given. <clears throat> my son, I want you to write to meet my people once again, because there are so few who know my voice when I speak, and even fewer who understand what I'm saying. My judgments are in the earth, even now, but most would dismiss them as naturally occurring events or climate change due to man, or even man that is controlling the changes you are experiencing. This is untrue. I am in control. I am using my destroyer of nations just as I have intended, and this will intensify until the end of the age. <coughs> even now, you are experiencing more floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes than you have, have experienced in your modern history but there are far more to come. I have been merciful, and even in my judgment I am merciful. But as sin becomes greater, so do my judgments. I send these things upon the earth, so that man humbles themselves, repents, and cries out to me, but most only further harden their heart, stiffen their neck, and even shake their fists towards me in rebellious rage. This vicious cycle that could be stopped if repentance was truly found in the hearts of men, but it is in very few hearts, and the number is getting fewer as time goes on. As my judgments grow greater in order to shake fallen man out of his complacency, I will allow everything to be touched by the enemy, even those who are mine that have not fully surrendered every aspect of their lives to me. Yes, this will even touch you, America. You are not above reproach. You will be the hardest hit. You have fallen into the greatest sin of all, and you love it. You once knew me, but you have fallen away. That which is holy and good, and you despise my correction. I have warned you over and over by my prophets and watchmen, especially over the last ten years. But you are not listening to me. You have been deafened by the chaotic noise from the God of this world, who most love even if they don't know it. I have tried to warn you with my still small voice, but that time is ending. My merciful judgments will shake America and the world to the very core in my last pleas for repentance from wickedness and sin. I warn you again, America, disaster and calamity comes quickly for you, after the Abraham Lincoln goes down in flames and you are embroiled in conflict, so will the tower that bears the name of Donald Trump. And thus he will meet his demise during the fiery kickoff event. As I've told you before, Donald Trump is a Belshazzar. He shall be slain and America will be given to the Medes and the Persians. This is the modern day Iran and parts of the surrounding countries. In brackets. After this fiery kickoff event, the most severe judgment on America begins. Most will not understand that this has all been planned for years, and now the stage has been set and all the players are in place. War on America will come on every front and internally. Muslim jihad and civil war will come simultaneously along with financial ruin, martial law, famine, disease, as well as earthquakes, floods, tsunamis, fires, tornadoes, hurricanes, volcanoes, and then nuclear and even destruction from aliens, which are the fallen ones, and their weapons that most do not even take into account. Then my wrath shall be pulled out upon you. O Babylon the Great, a great fireball that you don't see coming because it is from me, this will end the sealed judgments and my sealed servants will be transformed 
and be sent out to harvest all those who would receive me as saviour. <clears throat> During all of this, Obama will be welcomed back to lead America and most will put their trust in him and he will promise peace and protection but bring chaos and destruction. How foolish they will be will be found to be. How utterly foolish it is to trust in man instead of me. He will absolutely do what his father set and does best. Steal, kill and destroy. All the time smiling and lying. He will finally be allowed to accomplish his objective. As he departs America, as he departs, America will be attacked from the north. While she is in total disarray, unable to, unable to defend herself, this is the final destruction in one hour by fire of Babylon the Great. The only thing that will be great again about America will be her fall because she has forsaken me. Even in this I seek the repentance of each individual soul. National repentance will not take place. Judgment has been, been set. <clears throat> you know not the abundance of tears I have shed for you, but you have refused me. And in brackets, I felt his pain a deep sorrow. And continues, Children, there is still a very small amount of time left to surrender all to me before this comes to pass. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, as Luke 21, 36. My chosen remnant bride will escape the destruction to be used by me in the last harvest, but even these have to, these have, and will go through tribulation and testing, to make them perfect. Even as I, the captain of their salvation, was perfected through sufferings, Hebrews 2:10, my unselfish love in their hearts will be used to save many from the flames of the lake of fire. Come to me in intimacy today and ask me to use you in in this soon coming hour of trial for the whole earth, Revelation 3.10. I will answer your prayers if they are fully, truly from your heart with no selfish motive. I am the one who judges every motive, thought and intent of the heart, as in Hebrews 4.12. Be cleansed by my blood and be transformed by renewing your mind by my spirit. This is your spiritual act of worship, this is my good, acceptable and perfect will for you. Romans 12, 1-2, if you read that. For I am a spirit, and those who worship me must worship in spirit and truth. John, as at John 4, 23. The time comes quickly, and no man can stop the judgment, for it is my will. Draw close to me and give all to me now. I want you all to, to suffer as little as possible. Listen to and be doer of my word. words. I love you all without measure, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Well, quite a powerful message there. Uh, I was taken aback by what was said was going to happen to Trump there. Um, anyway, um, I'll leave it there. Anyone out there who hasn't come to the truth and to the Lord Jesus Christ, please do so now as time is really running out. God bless you all. Bye-bye.